This is like the coolest playground oh, ever, and this is not even a playground. check it out. This is the island we are heading to. It is an island on the Danube River. We're headed to that bridge over there. It looks like from that bridge you can walk onto the island that we're going to. Now we're going to take this bridge to go on to the island. When you walk onto the island, the first thing you see is vehicles to rent. The bikes and golf carts were so unique and interesting. Hi. Did you see that? I, I, can, I can definitely do this one. Yeah. We just rented this and now we're going to take this around the island. Wait a second. Hold that thought. Our trip to the island was unplanned and we realized that we did not have any ID with us to rent this. I'm gonna be the driver. No, I don't wanna be the driver. Walking back to the hotel was not a realistic option, so we decided to explore what the island had to offer that was free. It wasn't long until we found something. It looks like there's a little zoo on the sideline. Let's go see it. We continued walking and entered the zoo. The horses were definitely our favorite part at that zoo. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you have an apple in your back of crabs? No, I don't. I know. They look green apples for that. Next, we came across these beautiful gardens and these super cool ruins that kids can play on. This used to be a medieval castle and then a convent. Okay, I'm about to go in this maze and I'm not scared, but I'm scared. And now I'm gonna film my adventure in the maze. Hello, little guy. Okay, I'm going to go up these stairs. Look at all this. Oh, what's up here? Let's go up here. All these rocks. Oh, I like this one. This one's a cute one. I guess they all put rocks on these. This is like the coolest playground oh, ever, and this is not even a playground. Then we noticed a trail of rocks all along the running trail. It seemed to go on and on forever. We could tell they were there to remember people, but we couldn't tell what for. We looked it up, and as it turns out, these are here to remember COVID victims in Hungary. When the rocks were laid out, 20,000 people had died of COVID-19. Each rock had their patient number and age of death. At this point, we walked all the way to the other side of the island and pretty far away from our hotel. 
So we hopped onto the metro and headed back. Look how long this escalator is. The subway here is up to 10 stories underground. On the way back, we took a little pit stop and got haircuts. This is what it's like to get your haircut in a foreign country. It was just like getting your haircut in the States. The biggest difference was the hairstylist did not know English. We had to find creative ways to communicate. Luckily, there was a client that spoke English and helped us translate to the hairstylist. We also used Google Translate to converse back and forth. We must have said something right because we had a wonderful experience at the salon and our haircuts looked beautiful. Mom and Dad even got their haircuts too. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> okay. we hopped on a bus to the train station to go to our next country. Now it's time to say bye to Budapest. Next stop is Austria. See you there.